From high atop Rocky Road in Moab, Utah, it's KZMU News. I'm Molly Marcello. This is your news for Monday, February 4th. Arches and Canyonlands National Parks resumed normal winter operations last week. In a press release, staff at the Southeast Utah Group of Parks said they are happy to be back at work and thanked the Utah Office of Tourism, Canyonlands Natural History Association, and Alsco Inc. for contributing funds to keep visitor centers operations going during the partial government shutdown. Over the weekend, the Associated Press reported that national parks across the U.S. are now scrambling to clean up and repair damage visitors and storms caused during the recent government shutdown. Many parks across the country were unstaffed or, like Arches and Canyonlands, operating with skeleton crews. Arches National Park spokesperson Angie Richman told the AP that visitors left human waste outside a restroom, stomped out five trails in a permit-only area, and damaged an entrance gate so vehicles could drive on snow-covered roads when the park was closed after a storm. 